Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This section is going to be for the complex partial seizures on diary part 3. Um, as before previously, I was talking about the book that I found on my um, doctor's office and I'm going to be chapters later on. So I'm going to keep the um, back and forth and stuff like that and reading the facts, um, the 50 facts and, and more um, so people understand what's, uh, what's with seizures and epilepsy and that kind of stuff. So I know last time I mentioned about my black book of misfortunes and I have the reason why I called it that because I had to start doing a journal entry and days are like unfortunate to forget days, I forget to write stuff but because I started getting, so it started around the last week of October going into November I started getting headaches and then um, different smells and stuff like that like I will smell like lavender or like smells of feces and then I would get dizzy and nauseous and headaches and not feel not feel well like like when you get sick you get a cold or something but there were other extra um, sensations that weren't right with me and like I knew something was off but you know we saw I went to see a neurologist a better one than the previous or the previous other two that I had and you know we went through the research and then he's like you are you because like we, we originally went there because I have I have paralysis issues, so usually my entire my uh, extremities, legs and arms are um, paralyzed, and then I'll be like in a little cockroach position, or I just won't be able to move. And it happens at nighttime as well, um. So um, it's a big issue for me. It's it sucks. Um, I it makes me feel it makes me feel numb inside, um, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, and something with physically like. If I had to go to the bathroom, like I have to force myself after actually the paralysis, and it hurts a lot because I actually can't fall or will fall on my knees, and then I will have to crawl to the bathroom or ask actually for help, which I have an issue with because I don't like um, disturbing people. I don't like you know calling them out, and then um, I'm like two, I'm 220 pounds, so imagine trying to lift someone up from the floor or actually you using um, carrying them with one arm. And holding them steady to go to the bathroom or go to the kitchen that kind of stuff or even help them go to the kitchen to get food you know that kind of stuff so ask for help you know it's one of the main things and yeah so let's start with the little journal so my first journal entry starts on December 8th, December 8th 2018 um, um, November um, from October last week of October to November December January and February uh, it's been a complete psych, um, big roller coaster for me from headaches to migraines. Uh, there were single, double, triple, three, quadruple in a week, uh, for in three weeks, and then um, having fluttering eyes and uh, fluttering eyes episodes to breathing heavily um, to just being diagnosed with seizures. It went from simple, um, simple partial, but we had to I had to correct my doctor that I, lo I lose awareness and then it was um, complex partial seizures so we're gonna go through the journals um, I just had four seizures before um, drooling was uh, dro drooling started occurring so I, I got I wrote down exactly what I had in the morning um, the contents of the um, ingredients and um, try to um, miss, um, mix, um, mix and match um, things that I already have consumed versus things that I haven't consumed in a long while to actually separate it and then figure out what triggers it because four in, la in like within 30 minutes it's just a lot for me and then you know um, I have I'm drinking a lot of water because also my kidneys are not properly working because I have a lot of medication and then I'm intake so you know that could be in play as well but let's start with my um, diary I'm gonna read some journal entries and then you understand how crazy I went into this book this journal and how I started going. So December 8th, 2018, 3.11 p.m. Having a large iced coffee. Headache is getting worse. Had a donut for lunch. I barely uh, I barely ate now. I feel tired, irritated, and I feel pain on my left temple side because of the headache. Headache pain, 7 to 8. I'm about, um, about less than 4 hours. Um, less than 4 hours. So the headache was like less than 4 hours. So imagine 3 hours, 2 hours having a headache. Um, a lot of people have migraines and or headache problems, so you will understand this. On um, symptoms, irritation, overwhelm, um, um, uh, stressing, um, throbbing, sometimes eye twitching movements. Uh, same day, 
4.42 p.m. Headache pain 9 to 10. Previously was getting panicky, anxiety, nervous while the pain intensified. Passed out for about 5 minutes. Top was aware, sense, sense, and sense hearing, unable to move body or arms, legs, able to focus on music playing. Fe uh, feel tired, body feels non-functional. After the event, quote unquote, will avoid, will avoid, um, avoid new meds as, until actually needed. Chest pains and this headache is hurting both my inner ears. Took one, uh, one thousand milligrams of acetaminophen. So it tells you how much like the headache was hurting. Like I, I even increased it to fifteen hundred um, later on, and I started taking Topamax as well at fifty to try to make all these headaches and migraines go away. Um, also, the stressor as my mother, uh, my, my as the mother of Kayla. Uh, previous service dogs that we have, I'll be the last person to give her, um, give her her last bath. So, in that period, um, two days before, like uh, we were gonna put um, one of our beloved dogs down, service dogs down, and I was stressing to the max, and the headaches were getting worse. Um, so I put on a start event. Took medical, uh, took medical grade CB, uh, CBD oils, cause you know wanted to see if it helped me out. Because sometimes the pain would just be too too much for me, and uh, unfortunately, um, I was weak to to help me calm down since my headache kept getting worse and my anxiety was shooting off the roof. Unfortunately, it did not go great as I planned. My entire body felt per perplexed and could not uh, could not control it. Lost some function, felt dizzy and confused, nauseous and weak. Went to bed and fell asleep in, in awkward position. So I was like. I like literally I I'm in uh, I'm in like a fetus position kind of like I'm usually like hugging a pillow hugging like a stuffed animal like these guys here were right next to me and the fox right here hiding I'm using master pillow and I started like landing like a horizontal off the bed instead of being vertical with the bed I started going horizontal to the edge and that kind of stuff um so I know due to the event I could not take my medication know what I felt comfortable taking them so that was the thing. December 9th, 2018. I'm gonna read like maybe two, two or three passages so you understand like how it can, my life was continuing. I've been waking up since 4 a.m. However, I felt like a zombie. Mentally, I was everywhere. My body was not functioning either as I was paralyzed in the position my body left itself in. So I had paralysis. I had a pool of saliva building inside my mouth, but my mouth felt dry still. It's 7.57 a.m. I'm 89% functional. Having coffee, but my eyes burn, as if I was crying in my sleep. Offset one, my mental state general. Two, um, service dog Kayla help, and I'll be going giving her her last uh, her last bath for her. Three, bottled up emotion about the entire situation. Four, anxiety level increasing nonstop. Must calm myself before I pass out or faint. So I used I used to just like go to like get in bed and pass out. Because the anxiety levels were just too much in the max level, like I couldn't take too much medication for anxiety because it was just too much for my body. Uh, medications, I'm not gonna list on the medications. I'm not gonna say them. Um, 10 10 a.m. was crying my eyes hurt, slightly headache and coming, feeling like a, a nasal congestion in front of my face. So basically, uh, what will happen is I will feel like this uh, nasal congestion, um, like my brain was like fr uh, like melting in front of my face and then it will transcend all the way to the back and then a tension headache will occur and then it will it will be like rapid or like it'll be within five or ten minutes and it would just get me out of track. Um headache coming seven out of eight pressure headache feeling dizzy and lightheaded took one thousand milligrams of the cetaphin took nine minutes went to sleep. So that was that. Um December tenth of twenty eighteen was very um much for me actually um also to uh, my friend um so um i'm gonna skip that day because um um it's when we had a um put down um the server our our my friend's service dog and that day was just too much for me so I'm, I'm gonna skip that day um december 12 2018 at 12 i got random anxiety and my head started to feel pressured almost like a balloon um being uh, uh, deflated 
uh, my pulse was 140 and that is, st uh, is still um, um, something but I'm, I'm mentally trying to relax even though I took a uh, my anxiety medication um, and then I'm gonna stop in December 13 2018 took morning medication uh, late at night evening had another anxiety episode by my but my feet got all tingling and then my elbows to my hands were all getting numb and pins and needles not sure if my anxiety is now an offset now to, uh, took night meds went to bed 11 p.m. still had the anxiety even when taking the, the, the medication for anxiety so we'll stop there. Um, I have like I have like a few pages. Like I have this much to read, but um, I'm just gonna be like maybe about four four um sections per episode. Um, so you get an understanding, see how it develop, and how we can come to the conclusion and stuff. But um, so that was that. Um, what else? Honest. Uh, I'm gonna be honest as an escape after figuring out that we had that had um my seizure disorder and um, aka epilepsy um i started buying like stuff animals i started buying like cute stuff and that kind of stuff because it makes me happy makes me feel whole but also i need an escape room so that was like my money expensing just buying stuff and then um i started collecting these stuff animals and um toys and cute stuff because it just made me happy but I knew there was still um I still had to face my family and telling them like hey like I'm going through this and this is just new and this is going to be affecting me um I might be taking meds so I may not I, I don't know the procedure yet I don't know what's going on so that was a big thing as well for me so uh, I just want to thank my dad for being very supportive and my godmother uh, other family members I just got to talk to and hopefully I get the support and thank you you as my viewers for the support and actually liking my video and seeing and understanding what it's like to have a journal entry and I'll be doing more of these okay thank you and have a good day